एवरीवन नाउ वी विल सी द टू सिक्योरिटी प्रोटोकॉल्स यूज्ड बाय द आईपी सेक और आईपी सिक्योरिटी आईपी सेक इज प्रोवाइडिंग सिक्योरिटी सर्विस एट द आईपी लेयर बाय एनेबलिंग द सिस्टम टू सेलेक्ट रिक्वायर्ड सिक्योरिटी प्रोटोकॉल्स सो द टू सिक्योरिटी प्रोटोकॉल्स यूज्ड टू प्रोवाइड सिक्योरिटी बाय आईपी सेक कैन बी द ऑथेंटिकेशन हेडर कॉल्ड एएच and the encapsulating security payload called esp now let us see each one of them the first one is authentication header this particular protocol is providing source authentication and data integrity but not privacy okay the data integrity feature is ensuring that undetected modification to a packet content in the transit is not possible okay and the ah is preventing the address spoofing attack and replay attack when we say anti replay attack a replay attack is one in which an attacker obtains a copy of authenticated packet and later transmit it to the intended destination so it can be avoided if we are using this particular protocol the second type of protocol used is encapsulating security payload or simply esp this protocol is used to provide confidentiality the data origin authentication connectionless integrity anti replay service and traffic flow confidentiality the encapsulating security payload is adding header and trailer used to provide encryption combined combined encryption authentication when an ip datagram carries an esp header and trailer the value of the protocol field is 50 please do remember the value will be 50 so overall we can say the ip security services provided are the access control connectionless integrity data origin authentication and so on okay the next point in this ip security is security association it is very important aspect in the ip security where an association is one way connection between sender and receiver which is providing security service to the traffic carried on it called security association between two host if we see the security association it will have three policies or three parameter with it the first one is security parameter index or simply spi which will select the security association under which a receiver packet will be processed the second parameter is ip destination address which will be the destination of end point of a the security association and the last parameter is security protocol identifier it is indicating whether the association is an authentication header or a encapsulating security payload security association thank you